hello everyone so today I'm going to show you that how to configure access control list on Cisco packet tracer okay so let's open the Cisco packet tracer so here so before starting the practical we need to know that what access control list is okay as the name suggests access control list is like you are accessing uh, you are allowing or denying someone or some other network from accessing your network okay so the scenario will be uh, let's create the structure first then we'll, uh, then I will explain the scenario so let's take two routers suppose you can take as many routers as you want the depends on the network okay so now let's connect them okay so now let's assume this is the admin router of a company admins network and this part is the employee network so now what happens in a company that admin must have access to all the employee pieces right all the in the employee network but employees cannot just directly access the admins computer <laughs> because it will be risky right uh, for security reasons because the admin the admins have uh, lots of information about everything right every secure information in their computers but uh, employees just cannot directly access them okay so how to block it okay so there comes access control list but one more thing we just cannot completely disconnect two networks right because admins uh, need to send something to employee all the time so admins can send to the employee but employees cannot send to anything to admin okay like any malicious virus they can send if the network is open so now what you're going to do we're going to set up an ACL to the admins router so we're going to block the employee network from accessing the admins network okay so let's uh, set the IPs first let's enable the router and go to the config mode and after that let's get to the INTG 0 by 0 and suppose I'm giving 10.0.0.1 IP over here and here 192.168.1.0 network and here 192.168.2.0 network okay so now in IDG 0 by 0 I am yeah this will be 0 the network address okay great so now IP add 10.0.0.1 and the subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 and let's do no shot okay and in another the another port is INTG 0 by 1 okay so let's get to INTG 0 by 1 and the IP here will be IP add 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 no shot okay okay so the IPs are set in this router let's get to another router no enable config t and here let's get to INTG 0 by 0 and here I'm, I need to set the tens IP so IP at 10.0.0.2.255.0.0.0 okay done and no shut so as you can see this connection is green that means up now and the final port is INTG G0 by 1 okay it's like this okay so let's get to INTG 0 by 1 and the IP here will be IP at 192.168.2.1 
ओके स्पेस टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट जीरो डन एंड नो शर्ट गेट सो द आई पी जर सेट नाउ आई नीड टू सेट द राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल टू पास द इन्फॉर्मेशन टू इच डायरेक्शन ओके सो नाउ लेट से आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू आर आई पी हेयर सो राउटर आर आई पी एंड नेटवर्क आर नेटवर्क टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो एंड अनदर नेटवर्क इज वन नाइन्टी टू ओके दिस गेट टू दिस राउटर एक्सिट सो राउटर आर आई पी टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो सॉरी नेटवर्क एंड नेट राइट नेटवर्क एंड अनदर नेटवर्क इज वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी ओके सो द राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल हैज बिन सेट सो लेट्स चेक now send the packets okay sorry i need to set the ips on the pcs okay let's get to the pcs which is 192.168.1.2 because 1.1 we have already used in this port and that will be the gateway 192.168.1.1 and now 192.168.1.3 and 192.168.1.1 will be the gateway let's copy it and for the third one is 1.3 that means this will be 1.4 let's say so 1.4 and test done okay let's get to this pc okay 2.1 we have already taken that will be our gateway So the IP will be 192.168.2.2, 192.168.2.1. Okay. 2.3. And finally, 2.4. And fine. Okay. Done. so the ip is a set routing protocols are set so let's send the packet first one is failed and then successful okay the first package is always failed okay like this and again i'm going to send the packet over here and it will be successful okay so now let's send something from this employee to this computer successful sending here so employees can send to the admin's network and admin can send to the employees network so now i am going to put the access list over here okay so to do the access list part we need to get into config mode once again okay so exit and now let's create an access list access list and let's <coughs> put a number over here for the access list so, so the number is access list 1 you can see it that for standard access list we 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 take we take uh, one of any number between 1 to 99 so we are doing the standard access list here so i am taking just one now. okay so now now what we need to do we need to deny deny the whole network 192.168.2.0 and we need to write the subnet mask which will be 0.0.0.255 okay because uh, the wildcard mask of class c ip address is this 0.0.255 wildcard mask is just opposite of subnet mask Okay, zeros in the places of 255 and 255 in the places of zeros. Okay, done. So we have created the access list. Now we need to permit. So again, access list one permit. Now I'm going to permit any other network request. Okay. So now done. Okay. 
now let's get to the part where i want to block this i want to block this request okay the request will come to my router but it will not come down to my network so i am going to block uh, that network in this port g gig 0 by 0 by 1 so let's say g0 slash 1 okay and need to write ip access group ip access group okay this is not the case i just hit the tab here ip uh, it will show the whole command ip access group and let's put the list number one and i am saying that it will not go out from this network so done okay now let's check now let's send the packets again failed okay first one is always failed again failed failed okay so now it cannot send any packet to the network but admin can send their packets like let's get to the simulation part okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to send a packet from admin to employee let's say okay the packet is going out correctly and done employees receive the packet and but any reply from that computer will not enter into my uh, my network okay so it is blocked now so employees are trying to send something here and it will get stuck over here it will not come out from my router so this is how you set an access control list and this is very uh, necessary part of networking uh, because every company follows these parts so hope you liked it thank you